If you've ever wondered about Amazon The Drop, then this video is for you. However, as you can see, I shop the Amazon Drop Collection. I think it's a great way to support fashion influencers that I may follow or even if I may not follow them, if um, their style resonates with my style, it's a great way to support them in that manner. Before we get started with this video, make sure you give this video a like. It does help my channel. It will get me out there to more and more people to um, help other ladies that will want to join our family. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video before we go ahead and get started. So let's talk about what Amazon The Drop is. Amazon The Drop is where Amazon collaborates with fashion influencers. The influencers curate a fashion collection and from that collection that you have the consumer has 30 hours to shop and buy things from the collections now with that said just because you have a full 30 hours does not mean that you really have 30 hours to get the item some of these collections a lot of these collections sell out fast. I'm going to get to that part in a little while as to um, one of the collections that I do have where it's sold out in Ivy Park time frame. It's crazy. Amazon is getting more and more frequent with their drops. They used to do them like once a month or once every couple of months, but child, now they doing them like every week almost it seems. And it's hard for me to even keep up. So the collection that I'm wearing today is by a local Dallas influencer. Her name is Courtney Kerr. She goes by the handle currently on Instagram. I will be sure to link her below. I think she's fabulous. She's definitely over 40. As you can see from the most recent collection that I did purchase, um, I got this outfit. It is a long sleeve black shirt. It does come pretty low as you can see down to where the shorts are. The shorts are a satin finish. Um, the pockets are actual pockets. And what I really like about these shorts, number one, is the piping that's going down the front. I think it makes the shorts look a little bit more elevated. And I also like this satin finish on the button, which also makes it look a little bit more elevated as well. Uh, I will say that in the back, there is some ruching and gathering. There's some ruching and gathering here in the back, which is obviously a little bit more forgiving. So when I purchased this collection, I thought that I bought a large and an extra large in the shorts. I actually accidentally got two large. So these are the large. I really do wish that I had the extra large just for this area here, but I do still think that it is a gorgeous outfit and it will mix and match really well with all of my other um, shirts that I do have, um, including another shirt that I do have from the line as well. And so I think that this outfit is pretty stylish. It is one that you can wear multiple times and multiple ways. It's very versatile. Um, but with the shirt, it does lay really well, as you can see here. Now, the shirt is not the same finish as the shorts. I do like this cinching all around the shirt um, down by the wrist. And I do like that it does go all the way down. Obviously, if I wanted to, I could fold it back. Um, but for, I really do like it to be elongated and it's going all the way down 
on my arms. So the next piece I got is this white tee. It's considered bright white. And I know it's a t-shirt, but it's the material of this t-shirt is fantastic. It also has some good stretch in it. Um, it is ribbed. It does have like little tiny um, shoulder pads in it, which I freaking love. And it's not too long, but it does fit really well. This piece is for me a staple piece. I think that it is going to go with so many things, obviously jeans, these shorts, a nice skirt, um, maybe tie it in the front to give it some interest if it's one of like a flowy um, skirt. So this is definitely a great staple piece. Again, it's ribbed, anything ribbed, give it to me. I absolutely love this. I will be keeping this as well. The last item that I did get out of the collection, the currently the drop collection, is this beautiful white blazer. It is stunning. It does come with a sash as well. And it also comes with an extra button just in case you pop one of these off. I mean the buttons and um, the pockets they're not functional but I wouldn't I would never put anything in these pockets anyway but the dress is supposed to fit like a dress can I say the dress is supposed to fit like a dress girl the blazer is supposed to fit like a dress however um I'm not sure if they took into accountability for curves i don't know if i will be wearing this as a dress but as a oversized long blazer absolutely i do have one one white blazer in my collection um it does not button so there is a difference and a method to my madness as to getting something like this to me this is more like a tuxedo style dress my goodness i keep calling this blazer a dress this is a blazer okay <laughs> this is a tuxedo style blazer in my personal opinion i absolutely love it i think that this is going to be a piece that i will have for a very long time in my wardrobe and i'm looking forward to pairing it with either something like these shorts maybe even a, a crop top and some jeans, um, wearing it out for brunch, wearing it to a date night dinner. This is going to take me really, really far. I cannot wait to style this in future videos for you all, but this is a great piece. Now, since I'm talking about the drop, I figured that I would pull out as many pieces that I do have. There is one piece that is missing and it's literally one of my favorite pieces. I am not sure what happened to it, but I am on the freaking hunt to find um, one of the pieces that is missing. That piece is a sleeveless vest that I got from another collection from Amazon The Job and that is from Lucy's Whims. I freaking love Lucy. She's also a over 40 influencer that I love so much. And I have um, several pieces from her collection. So I'll go ahead and quickly go through those items um, right now. The first item is a pair of trousers. They are black. They. I'm noticing that Amazon likes to do this... Um, gathering in the back to give it a little bit more forgiveness um something that i didn't say is that each collection has the name of the drop on the inside but these slacks are wide leg they are everything they came with the um well they didn't come but along with these slacks came a vest the vest that I am missing and it is chef's kiss I'll insert 
um, a pic here of what the entire um, outfit looks like. I did wear this, I'm pretty sure for New Year, that was the last time I wore it as a set. Um, but absolutely love these um, trousers. They go with everything. I wear them to work a lot. They are taking me very far. Um, they are a little thick, so I have not worn them more so recently going to work. I've been sticking to like dresses and things like that, but these are gonna be a heavy hitter for fall, winter, for sure, and also spring, but like dead of summer like it is right now, and it's been over 100 every single day here in Dallas, these um, I could not wear, but I absolutely love these trousers from Lucy's Whims. Okay, so the next item that I'm going to show you, actually it's two items. I may as well knock them both out at the same time, considering they're the exact same item. And these are also from the Lucy's Whims collection. It is an oversized um, sweatshirt with a very large collar that I absolutely love along with the um, zipper detailing in the front. I got it in cream and I also got it in black. I wear these constantly um, during the chillier months because the material is very thick, it's very heavy. I absolutely love these. Again, this zipper detailing, you can um, zip it all the way up and but when you leave it out, you give a little shoulder action. I mean, it's just chef's kiss. As far as the material goes, I will also insert some pictures here as to um, how they're styled. Again, jeans for sure, legging, effortless wear for these type of sweatshirts. And I absolutely love them. So the next, pieces that I have are from another influencer and her name is Sign Blake on Instagram and all other platforms. And these two items are from her first collection. This is kind of my introduction to getting my feet wet with Amazon The Drop. I am a Sign Blake stan. I love her so much, her style and her personality, she is down to earth, okay? And I love that about her. So when I first got this collection, I just, like I said, wanted to get my feet wet. And this is a basics as well. Let me put this down. The first piece is just a long sleeve tee. It does have like that muscle um, effect with the shoulder pads in here. I wear this a ton as well in the warmer months. Now I've had this for quite some time. As you can see, it still looks really, really good. Um, I haven't had any issues with like major pilling or any pilling at that with these um, shirts. So for them to be black shirts, they're just really timeless. The material is nice and thick and great for, again, jeans, um, even shorts when it kind of gets a little chilly. So you want something to kind of have your arms covered, but you're still cool with having your legs out. Perfect for that. And I absolutely love this as a staple. Now, this shirt, love Blake, right? Love her. But this shirt was not my favorite. I, when I got it, A, I love the muscle tee style, right? Love the muscle tee. Um, it comes down really far, but it's not too side boobish, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but at the same time, this, let me pull it down because I have it wrapped up here. There's a whole sash, like built-in sash. And if you watched my swimsuit video, then you already know how I kind of feel about the built-in sash. And it may be even 
stem from getting this and realizing that that's just not my zhuzh. Um, but this is just complicated for no reason. It's just doing the most for no reason, but I still wear this. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Absolutely still wear it. Um, I do finagle it to where it does still look cute because it still does look cute. It's just not something going forward that I intend on um, wearing or purchasing items that have this type of attached sash. Removable, cool. Attached, no. Next I got a dress, a midi dress. It is ribbed. It is very versatile at the top here. It's very, very versatile as far as what you can do with the um, straps. So as you can see here, I just kind of have them knotted here in the back, but they, this dress, it does have a slit on one side at the bottom. As you can see again, it is ribbed. You can't really see it, but it is ribbed and it's just the perfect date night or brunch outfit and I absolutely love it. I also got it in this, uh, it's not quite, it's maybe like a muted neon green and it does look really good actually as far as the color giving off in the light or back on camera it looks really almost near perfect it looks so good but this color same exact silhouette as the other dress it is midi style it does have the slit on the side it also has the versatility in the straps that you can um, crisscross or just have them going straight across you can do multiple things with the length of these straps for sure. And then the last item that I got from, and this is Blake's second to last collection because I did not, I was not able to get anything from the last collection. But this is a tube top. Girl. Clearly Blake loves um, sashes. I have not worn this yet. I'll be very honest. I have not worn any of these three items. I have not worn either of these dresses, nor have I worn this tube top. I am wearing this this week. I am not playing any games. I'm going to wear this this week. I have a influencer event that I'll be going to on this Thursday. I believe it's just more of a networking event. Let me not call it an influencer event, but it is a networking event that I'll be going to this Thursday. So I think I'll wear this with a pair of jeans and just a cute pair of sandals um, just so that I can finally wear this. But again, it is, it, it actually does go, I have tried all of these items on for sure, but it does go, oh my God. Oh, I have it upside down, child. Okay, there we go. So it does come down pretty far and I do like that it comes up pretty high up on the bodice for sure. So I think that this would a cute pair of, um, distressed jeans because I mean you can wear them with non-distressed jeans but I think that it'll edge up this outfit for sure or this shirt with this sign Blake collection honey them folks wasn't playing no games I was able to get these items from the second time that it came around because originally when her line dropped it was sold out in Ivy Park record time. It was sold out in, I'm, I'm gonna say five minutes, but I think I'm being very generous by saying five minutes. It sold out so fast that everyone was DMing Amazon, 
DMing Amazon the drop, um, adding them on all social media um, outlets, basically saying, you didn't give us enough time, you didn't let us know, we didn't get a chance, yada, yada, yada. So what they did, first time in the drop history, was they brought back the same items from a collection. They don't do that. They brought the same items back from the collection to give everybody a second chance to get the items. So that's how I was able to get these. I did not get them on the first go round. It was crazy. She was bawling her eyes out. People were probably crying for her. I had got chills because she was so overwhelmed with the um, love and support that, um, and just the fact that Amazon was like, you know, we're gonna come back and we're gonna bring it back again. So anyway, long story short, you have 30 hours total However, items do sell out within that 30 hours. So what you think you like, you should go ahead and you should get it immediately. And if you're unsure about sizing, much like I was, do not make the mistake. Do not make the mistake and get two of the same size. Cause I surely wish that I had these shorts and an extra large versus a large girl. However, things happen, it's fine. I'm gonna send these back. One thing about the um, Amazon The Drop collection, outside of when the collections tend to drop from Amazon The Drop, you also have an opportunity to get some of their staple pieces. Um, you've definitely seen some of the staple pieces. It comes with handbags, shoes, clothing. So you've seen some of the staple pieces and also they do incorporate those staple pieces inside of the collections and those items are more or less toward the end of the feed when the collection drops. So they'll kind of uh, showcase items that will be considered staple pieces from Amazon The Drop. Uh, I hope all of this was informative. If you've ever wondered or thought about purchasing some items this kind of gives you an idea of what to expect how it goes price ranges again that goes anywhere between $29.99 up to $79.99 depending on the pieces um, that they are dropping in the collection but again I will say that the quality is there all items are made to order and I personally enjoy getting the items from the drops. Everything is not a win, so I do send what I um, purchased that wasn't a win, I do send them back. I do want your opinion. Let me know if you think the blazer is something that I should keep. Let me know in the comments if it's something that I should keep or if I should um, send back. All right, if you've made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing but one second of your time and you'll go ahead and join the Adulting Again family. While we're at it, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at I'm Adulting Again. And that's where you'll be able to keep up with me on a more daily and personal level. You'll see these items that I talk about, whether it's clothes, beauty, um, or just my day-to-day -day life. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did um, putting it together for you. Again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.